The first developer preview of Android 13 is out, so let's talk about it. As always, I don't want to waste your time. There are some nice tweaks and refinements to Android in the first developer preview, but nothing amazing. A developer's preview lets app makers know about new stuff that will let them tweak their apps for Android 13. When does the bigger, earth-shattering stuff arrive? This is the roadmap for releases. We get another developer preview sometime in March. Beta versions arrive in April, building up to a final release, usually around October's Pixel event. We'll check updates as they come out and try to make sense of it all. If you subscribe, you'll be on top of the latest stuff too. We do not suggest installing previews or betas or any unfinished software on your main mission critical devices. With all of that out of the way, let's run down the changes. First up, connecting to nearby devices should be easier and more secure. Normally, when you connect to a nearby device, you have to give that app location permissions. With some smart home devices, you may have to connect to that device's own Wi-Fi network to complete setting it up. Great. Now that app can track where I am unless the permission is revoked later. With Android 13, apps will be able to look for and connect to nearby Wi-Fi networks without the need for location permissions. As someone who has set up a lot of devices using apps, this seems like it would streamline the process a lot. I've ran into issues with apps trying to switch Wi-Fi networks and failing, or apps seemingly getting confused when you leave that app to switch the Wi-Fi network yourself. Here's hoping this feature makes things easier for those who love smart devices. Next, there will be some changes to how you're able to customize the look of your Android. Android 12 introduced the Material U design. Your visual experience would vary with the wallpaper you chose. For example, you choose a mostly red wallpaper. Android would give you choices of complementing colors for highlighted items and theme app icons to fit your color palette. The thing is, it didn't theme all of the app icons. If you were really dedicated, you could try to customize your app icons yourself, which is something I've done, which is either weird or not, I'm not sure. Anyway, Android 13 could help with this. Google says, starting with Android 13, users can opt into themed app icons. With this feature, app icons in supported Android launchers are tinted to inherit the coloring of the user's chosen wallpaper and other themes. That should mean that any app could have the option to change its icon color based on your wallpaper. Android 13 also brings a quick settings placement API. Okay, okay. I know most everyone is popping champagne and celebrating over this feature. Just hang on. Let me explain this to those who may not know what this means. Now, Android has its quick settings area that you can access with a swipe. It's great. Yes, this is the part where every Android diehard side eyes control center in iOS. Yep, we know. Anyway, that quick settings area is customizable. Not only can you rearrange those settings, but you can add new tiles with certain apps. How would you know that there are new tiles to add? Well, you could just access the quick settings area, then hit edit, and then look to see if an app has added an option for you. This requires a bit of searching by a user. Android 13 wants to make this whole thing easier. There's a new Quick Settings API that will let app developers prompt you if you would like to add a tile to the Quick Settings menu. So just imagine you're running Android 13, you install a VPN app, then it asks you, would you like to add a Quick Settings tile? Then you've got options to add it or not. This is just another step in Android becoming more customizable while getting easier. People who didn't know that the Quick Settings area could be changed will become more familiar with this powerful tool. App makers will have to be judicious as to how many prompts they make you deal with. You can bet that if an app is a prompting pest, that its ratings will take a hit in the Google Play Store. Google also mentioned a new language feature. With Android 13, users will be able to access languages per app if that app allows it. That means you can have your system language be set to one language and have another language set for an app. This might not be a feature everyone uses, but for some, this will be very useful. Let's talk photo access. Right now, if you want to access your photos from an app, you can grant that app full access to your photo library. Otherwise, you can restrict your entire photo library. 
Android 13 will have a new photo picker tool. Here, you'd be able to select which photos an app has access to. It's not an all or nothing situation anymore. When would you use this? Maybe you found an app that adds a great effect that you want on your profile pics. You could use the photo picker tool to let that app only access your profile pics. Then you can apply your effects to your heart's content. Oh, this feature is coming to older versions of Android 2, Android 11, and higher. That upgrade will come through a Google Play system update. Those are the features I think were worth highlighting. Let me know what you want to see out of Android 13 in the comments. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I know this video is kind of late. There's a good reason for that.